In this video, guys, we're gonna discuss how important is your trading environment when you're trading. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. All right, so trading environment actually is more important than you think. Now, it's not to say that you're gonna have a massive impact on your trading, but something that you can do relatively easy, doesn't take much time to do, that actually will have an underlying benefit for you because there has been studies to show how important the environment is. And listen, we see how some of the top tech companies are really you know, making their offices a nice place to be, lots of kind of plants, lots of fun things around to make it a nice environment, a massive step up from the old days where, you know, very standardized kind of, uh, you know, sh square carpets and strip lightings and very dull and very corporate and very all very a bit unpleasant to be in. You know, much nicer now. So there are people recognizing environment and, you know, companies like WeWork as well, making them as nice as possible. So. It's really, lots of studies have shown that it's very, very conducive. A good environment is very conducive to productivity, to well-being, etc. So, you know, as traders, it makes sense for us to take a little bit out of their leaf. Now, I'm not saying that we put a, a slide in from the loft into our office or, uh, you know, a 20-man beanbag in the corner and a sleeping pod. No, but just taking it a little bit common sense and just doing things like, uncluttered. So even if you're not the tidiest person in the world, just say, you know what, I'm going to make sure that my desk area or my office, my trading office is uncluttered. I'm not going to have any stuff on there when I'm trading. I'm going to have maybe my notepad. I'm going to have whatever I need. It's not full of clutter now. You don't have to go crazy with it and completely be kind of just white Apple style stuff, you know, where you can just imagine like the Apple stores where there's nothing on it. You have stuff on it that may be useful to you, photos or some books or this and that and the other. That's fine, but not clutter. You know, I went and went to a trader's house and their desk was so full of stuff. I mean, this okay trader, but I think you could probably be so much more if you just kind of were less cluttered. They had an ashtray that was full of uh, cigarette butts in it. They had like stuff all over the place, crisp packets. They had this and that and the other papers shuffled and they were just trying to move their mouse amongst this stuff. And it, wor it, wor it was working for them seemingly, but there's so much more improvement. I thought, well, listen, if you uncluttered that, because they've shown actually that if you have a lot of clutter around your desk and stuff and your subconscious has a, a slightly elevated baseline stress level because it's kind of gets concerned with all this clutteredness and actually uh, and further studies have suggested that actually when you've got a cluttered environment your mind and thoughts are cluttered and that's not what we want for trading guys we want to be uncluttered as possible so we can clearly say yes you know, I think that's a good buying opportunity where here rather than going oh as long as it's short uh, that's the last thing we want so whether it's true or not I don't know a glance at this scientific paper um who knows? But it makes sense, right? Keep it uncluttered. The other thing is clean, makes common sense, don't have a dirty environment. Uh, desk space, have a decent sized desk. I know sometimes it's constrained by uh, the, 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 geogra the geography, if you like, or the, the space uh, situation in the room that you're trading or the office that you're trading, etc. But if you can just have a, a reasonable sized desk that you can fit all your stuff on that's not kind of crumped like this, you're gonna be so much better. So the other thing is correct temperature makes sense to have it cool, have it warm, whatever it is, not noisy, don't want to be in an environment that's, you know, constantly having something in your in your brain and constantly noise going on. I know sometimes we can't help this. Maybe look, consider those noise cancelling headphones, uh, they're pretty good, but you don't want those distractions. You want clear clarity. And the other thing is mix it up. So there's <clears throat> two kind of, I look at trading as there's two forms of trading. One is the actual execution of the trades and trading in the day. The other is doing the analysis and the homework and stuff. So what you can do is you can have uh, a place to go where you do your analysis. You take a notepad, your laptop, you look at your trades, you analyze maybe some of your trades that you've done, your strategy, you write out your plan, you look at the markets, and then you may have another place where you actually do your trading itself. So that place could be, uh, it could be a coffee shop, for example. You could go into a library or you could rent uh, some desk space. You could rent another office. You know, all these type of things that you can do to mix things up a bit. 
And that way that you kind of, then you're trading and you're not in the same place all the time, we're doing all the homework, doing all the strategy, doing analysis, and then you're trading. You can mix things up and say, okay, well, it's not so important for me to be in such a focused environment. Uh, and I can be in a bit of a different environment, maybe a little bit more um, inspiring or whatever that may be to do some stuff that's not time sensitive. I don't have to actually be focused and pull the trigger now. You can do analysis, you can write your bits and pieces in a different environment. So try that, try mixing things up a little bit. Go to go to these places, like I say, you don't have to fork out for an office if you don't want to. Plenty of free places, libraries, some libraries are great, fantastic buildings, um, your coffee shops as well, all these different places that you can go to in the park and uh, it's nice weather, all this kind of stuff. Do your analysis, then come back to your training trading screen to do your actual trading. And that's quite nice to have a separation. The other thing is make changes. So it's often it's really good to just keep on changing things around. Move your desk around, paint a wall a different color, put a new picture up, just to freshen things up and just say, I'm moving forward, I'm progressing. And it just tells yourself that, hey, I'm serious about this. I wanna progress, I wanna move forward. And it, it might seem a bit, well, what effect is that gonna have? How pointless is that? But actually it just helps you you know, it just helps you freshen things up a bit, especially if maybe you've had a bit of a drawdown, you're struggling a bit, you're like, right, wipe the slate clean, let me paint this wall this color, let me get some more pictures in, let me get a new desk, let me get a new chair. Uh, I know some of us are quite uh, sentimental about a chair and have a lucky chair, but that's by the by, just do something different, change things up a bit and say, right, fresh start, and it just resets you a little bit. Such an easy thing to do, no cost, you don't have to buy anything specifically, but a little thing that you can do just to say, right, I'm refocused now, it's a new chapter, let's go. So guys, uh, how important is your trading environment? I think it's important, it's not the be-all and end-all, it's not gonna make you profitable overnight, but it's such an easy thing to do, relatively cheap, if not free, and if it helps your trading by a little bit, then a little bit now can actually mean a lot over the period of multiple years. So uh, I think it's well worth paying attention to. Take care, whatever you're doing, bye-bye.